Grant, you've drawn today. Are you happy or disappointed with that one point? To be honest with you, I thought we were excellent first half, particularly. Um, with numerous opportunities to score. A lot more than Reading. Um, maybe apart from one mistake that we tried to play across across the pitch and, and Swift got in, Nathan made a good save. Um, we controlled most of the first half. Um, some really good opportunities. I remember balls coming into the box, the keepers making a good save, little headers that we didn't quite get there, chances that were going over the crossbar. Another day we probably could have been 2 or 3 nil up. We weren't. Um, and then we we conceded on the stroke of half time. It's for me it's a it's a poor decision from the referee and, and the fourth official. You know, Josh McGuinness is, is is within a half a yard of the ball and it hits his hand, the ball bounces up, then hits Yadam's hand and now they give a free kick to to, to Redden, uh, which results in the goal. Um I had a chat with the referee at half time and yeah, we were, we were disappointed with that. But I said to the boys at half time, I said, look, this is the first time in four, four games we've, we're going to have to try and come back and show that, that mentality and that strength of character to, to try and get us back in the game. We've done that great strike from Malik. Going back to just the referee for one question, obviously in the game there was a few penalty shouts for them, three in particular. Do you feel they warranted the referee blowing the whistle at all? Well, the first one's irrelevant because they scored off the corner. Yep. Um, the second one's a blatant dive, if you watch it back, and it's outside the box. The third one, I can see, if he gives the if he gives a handball from McGuinness here, I can see that could have been a penalty. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. You know, they, they got the handball here for the first goal. They didn't get the handball for the penalty, so that's football. Going back to our style of play, would you say on the balance of this season that's the most fluid we've looked going forward? Because we certainly seem to have a lot of space out wide creating those chances. Yeah, we're, we're boys are getting better and, and, and adapting to the way we want to play. And, you know, I think we've shown that over the last five, six games that, you know, we, we feel like we're we're starting to perform at this level. And, you know, Redden are a good team. Don't, don't make no bones about it. They're a good team. They've got good players, got real experience right through the spine of their team. But I thought we we're, were, were real good value for the point today. Malik, what were your thoughts on today's result? Well, it was a it's a good hard-earned point. Like, they were a good team. Without the point deduction, they'd be fighting for promotion, I reckon. So I feel like we should have won though. We had a few chances that we should have taken. I had two headers in the one from about three three yards out. But other than that, it was a good game. You got your goal though, and that's what matters. <laughs> I took the hardest one, don't know what I <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, hopefully, I start scoring all consistently. You got a lot of service today, How putting it down to the attacking movement. I asked the manager the same question. Do you feel that was the best attacking movement from the midfield this afternoon that you've seen this season? Yeah, it was. Do you know what the boys, we actually grafted and been training, building up. It's been a lot of hard work this week, a lot of running. So, in terms of that, it was just keep working hard and getting in the right area. Sorry, my language. Keep working hard and getting in the right areas, and the ball will keep coming in. Playing more centrally rather than playing out wide. What difference does that make to your game? It's um, it's a lot of difference, that, um, and I'm learning to adapt to it now. It's more being a wall for your team than when the ball comes up, securing it playing out wide to, to the wingers. Whereas last last season it was more, I was doing a play out wide to me and then get out people. So it's just getting in the box and movement in the box. You must have enjoyed when you got your goal today, going over to the faithful, the fist bump, the celebrations. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like I said, it was the hardest one out of all the chances. So yeah. But wait, five unbeaten now. Yes, it's a draw today, but we've had four victories. Lots of determination, grit over that form. Do you feel with a performance like that today we can turn one point into three against Bristol City on Saturday? Yeah, hopefully. Like, we just go into every game the same with no fear. Just look to get, um, to work hard and get as much out of it as we can.